looking out and not having any fans. It's 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 too bad, um, but it is what it is. I appreciate you know the effort put in to try to you know do the best we can to to, to put energy you know in the arena. If Nico Medved and the CSU basketball team play a game and there's no one around to hear it, Moby Arena makes a sound. It was really bizarre the first game. It is now, but I think after getting a couple games under your belt, I think you just become more and more comfortable with how it is. Bryn Davis and her staff control the roar of the crowd from a skybox above the action. They can pipe in a loop of stadium cheers with the click of a mouse. If we hit a big shot, we'll have our, our normal track, but we'll play a second track that's a little higher energy that goes over it to, to give it that little extra oomph. How loud does it get? The Mountain West Conference set a decibel limit to keep the electric cries and exultations from getting out of control. At big moments, uh, we can go up a little, and then we pretty much have to bring it right back down. Artificial crowd noise helps to maintain home court advantage, but the Rams needed a dry run to get the hang of it. We uh, did a little practice with our, our men's and women's basketball teams, and the first thing that we told them were like, just know this is going to be a little weird. Once you start playing the game and the ball gets to bouncing and the plays start happening, uh, if you're locked in like you should be, I feel like it doesn't make that much of a difference. For real fans, it doesn't ease that feeling of emptiness. Reporting for Nine News, I'm Aaron Anderson.